you guys are at this one, you know, now that you're on the precipice of the spring game, where you, how would you assess the progress you guys have made? Yeah, we, hey, we're, we're right there, you know what I mean, in terms of uh, getting ready to close this thing out. Um, I, I just have to tip my hat to these guys because they've worked so hard this spring. I, I mean, and, and we're tough, you know what I mean? Like, we're not going to hand gift or, or, you know, say things just to make guys feel good. We're going to be very honest. But these guys have really worked, man. So um, I'm excited, you know what I mean? Well, at least the direction, you know, that we that, that we were able to start with. How do you see the team progress in terms of, like, grasping the scheme? You guys are asking about them in their new positions. Yeah, I think, I think now that they have – experience i mean 14 practices but you know in the beginning you're, you're telling them here's the plan you're you're teaching them the defense but you know they haven't done it and haven't reaped any benefits from it on a day-to-day -day level right and so now 14 practices in these guys got a better feel for it and they can see oh okay this is what it's supposed to feel like when we do X, Y, and Z, you know, so I think that they are um, grasping it and, and embracing it more and more, so it's a, it's, it's a cool thing to see. Where do you see room for improvement between now and first day of golf camp? <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere. I mean, there's not one person that probably hasn't gotten better this spring, coaches included, and there's not one person that doesn't have a long way to go, coaches included, because, you know, we're constantly, constantly raising the bar, you know, constantly, constantly challenging ourselves and, and each other, coach to coach, player to coach, you know, the coach to player, like, it's all healthy when we all can challenge each other and understand that the, the, the more we push each other, the better we are as a collective. So I, I think it's, it's, it's a positive that way. What's your vision for the position in terms of playing with you guys in rotation or, or having one guy take the spot? Yeah, I mean, I always tell those guys, I don't, I don't decide the depth chart. You guys do, and you know, we always talk about earning, earning the right to play, earning the right to get, you know, minutes in the game. You know, it's not, um, hey, uh, this is tryouts in the fall. It ain't tryouts. You know, you earn that right Monday through uh, Friday or Sunday through Friday, and then you go out there on Saturday um, and execute. And so, um, you always want to have more than one guy, obviously, um, because if you're gonna demand that these guys play with max effort, run to the ball as hard as they can. It should be hard to play an entire game, you know, with one person. And so we've always rotated guys, not out of just, um, you know, a necessity, but just from the mindset of, you know, you also want to uh, reward those guys that's doing the right things and practice each and every day uh, with their opportunities. So that's a long ways from right now, but, you know, we got to build depth across the, the board and across the team. And you've had Taylor Katoa there. He's, he's just a guy who has played a lot of football the last few years. What have you seen kind of from him and how he's developed, I guess, you know, being on the field? Basically? Yeah, yeah, no, he works every day. Um, you know, has a professionalism about him in meetings and as he walks the halls. And you can tell that he's very serious when he comes out here and, and not here to joke around. He's, you know, very dialed in and so, he, like, you know, everybody has to just get more and more um, reps and opportunities and things like that so they can, can grow within this defense. So um, excited, though, you know, about all of these guys. Have you had a chance to, you know, get get with the Nickelbacks uh, a little bit in practice in this in spring? <laughs> no, like, again, I'm, I'm more working with the, the, the edge guys. Um, you know, again, the thought, you know, when I first got here was, We'll work it out, and it's pretty much been worked out. I'm pretty hands off with the the nickel position. It's it's I'm up front. I work really hand in hand with Coach Nua, you know, up front. So uh, that's where I like to be. So it's a good thing. You guys are obviously going to add a bunch in the portal over the course of the next couple months. In terms of edge rushers, is there specific types of traits you specifically will look for in that position? Yeah, just guys that play with their hair on fire. I mean, you you. You know, number one pass rush move is effort. <laughs> you know what I mean? So if a guy's not just absolutely playing with his hair on fire on film, I just turn the film off. Like, nope. You know what I mean? Um, and so those things stick out the most. But, yeah, we definitely have to add guys. I think 
at every position. You know, our team is aware of that. It's not a surprise. We're you know under the number that we need to be to, to be a good team. And so uh, I'm excited, you know, to continue to add those pieces and help this thing grow and push and push because, um, you know, it's, it, it, it isn't a rebuild, you know, the expectation is to win. And that's how we have to approach this from a roster standpoint as well. You expect some people in that room, in your room now to be added? I expect guys in every room on this team. I mean, when you're, when you're you know, 15, you know, plus numbers below you know, the, the the baseline 85. I mean, I don't, I don't know if there's a position that's um, exempt from that. So again, um, you don't want to have a, you know, disadvantage competitively. So, I mean, it's, it's our right or not our right, but our duty and, and our obligation to make sure this team is sufficient from a number standpoint. And however we do that, whether it's transfer portal or you know, high school, or whatever, we're gonna make sure that we, you know, have a fully competitive roster come fall. So. Thank you.